<laughs> Hi, I'm Kenton Yeager. I'm, uh, I run the master's program in lighting design for the theater department, and I'm going to talk about uh, a project I've been working on. I've been asking myself a question since 1989. How do you effectively teach theater lighting if you don't actually have a theater to teach in? My answer, many universities and most high schools just don't do it. I've been desperately looking for a way to effectively teach lighting in a standard classroom, and this one to six scale fully working theater is it. I first got the idea when I was in, at the Prague Quadrennial, an international theater design conference. There I had the chance to teach a master class uh, in uh, Hank Vandergeest's one to four scale theater lab, including this one where I explored children's emotional response to color and light. I was totally hooked. As soon as I got home, I began building a scaled lighting lab. My first one was not so good. Um, it was built from steel and some old lighting gear that I had liberated from the Clarence Brown Theater. Uh, the following year, I received university, university funding to build a larger, more sophisticated one to four lab here at UT. It was the first one in the US and only three in the world. Um, and it, it is fantastic. Uh, but even though I had this new fabulous one to four lab, I continued working on these smaller classroom versions. This is a shot of the second generation one to six lab. I was becoming obsessed with the idea that most schools, especially high schools, should have a classroom lab to teach lighting, and there was nothing out there to do it. So I thought, I just need to do that. So I needed to design a lab theater that everyone could put into their classroom and comfortably use. I spent the next two years with my new friend here in my basement cutting thousands of feet of all different types of pipe steel channel and I, until I found a workable system. Generation three is here on my back porch. It is completely, a completely flexible tabletop theater frame. As a kid, my favorite toy was an erector set and now I have a grown up version that can easily be reconfigured to replicate any type of theater you would want to study. One day it could be a proscenium or a thrust, and the next it could be a theater in the round or a small black box. Next, to make this frame a theater, I designed a series of draperies to represent what we actually use in the profession. Legs, borders, sykes, scrims, projections, screens, all of it. Now the observant ones among, among you may have noticed that one to six scale is in fact Barbie scale. <laughs> she is such a universal image that when you put her on the stage, everybody understands the one to six scale. Generation four came along. This is the new floor model loaded with moving lights, color mixing, psych lights, and eight speaker surround sound system. Uh, now I just, now I had it. And then I was getting it all done and I realized actually my journey took a sharp turn. I realized that in creating the perfect light lab, I had actually created a fabulous theater lab that went way beyond lighting. Not that lighting is not important. The advent of LED technology allowed us to represent accurately what is happening in the field today and reduce the total electrical outlet or uh, total electrical usage so the lab can plug into a single classroom outlet. You can literally unplug your coffee pot and plug this entire system in. Suddenly, I wanted to teach more than just lighting in this lab. We are currently working on a complete rigging system for flying scenery. The lab will soon have multiple technologies including counterweight systems, hemp and sandbag systems, and even roll drops. The goal here is to teach as many aspects of theater as possible in the lab. There is even a pin rail with belaying pins and sandbags to teach how to load weight and tie proper knots. Students get very little time in well-equipped theaters and now many schools have restrictive rules about students on ladders and catwalks. This lab allows a student to learn everything safely from the ground and it is even fully handicapped accessible. Uh, now we can teach all aspects of stage design and composition, um, directing, blocking, even stage management with this mini theater. You can even pre-tech a show and try out everything before you move on to stage. This saves a great deal of time and frustration during dress rehearsal. This time saving allows us to take our productions, production creatively farther as we never finish a show in theater, we just open it. Every time I describe these labs to someone, they immediately ask, oh, is this to light a scenic model? And I say, it's fabulous at that, but it's not a model light lab. It's a fully equipped teaching theater. But if you're going to light a model, a set model, you might as well do it right, and this lab has everything you could possibly want. More important than that, though, is now designers and directors can work together to create the looks, moods, and cues they need. The lighting designer can now explore the design with real light, then draft the light plot and paperwork from what they've learned. Most designers are still sitting at a computer drafting an engineering drawing instead of working with light. I hope this new, this, ugh, I hope this new tool changes that habit. Dance is notorious for not have, ever having enough time in the theater. 
This lab allows the choreographer, the stage manager, and all of the designers to work out both creative choices and technical details before they hit the stage and the mad time crunch begins. The work becomes so much more sophisticated when there is time to explore the creative possibilities together. We are beginning to experiment with flying actors as well as scenery. How cool would it be to have a fully working flying rig in your classroom to pre-choreograph productions and teach students the creative and technical requirements of aerial design? We also have added full stage front and rear video projection capability. This now allows sound, lights, and media to all work together. The idea is starting to take off. Two years ago, there was a great three-page article in Southern Theatre Magazine about what can be done in these labs. Universities and high schools around the region began calling me on how to get one of these. So I put together a website, www.yeagerlabs.com, uh, that describes everything you need to know, including how to secure funding for these. Last spring, we were at, on the expo floor at USITT, the largest stage design and technology convention in the country. Since then, universities in New York, Kansas, and Mis Michigan have purchased labs and are now teaching with them. This makes 10 universities, two high schools, and one middle school currently using these labs. This is a shot of the very first lab that ever went out from my back porch again. Um, it went to Beverly Emmons, a Tony Award-winning Broadway lighting designer who is currently using it to teach workshops and private lessons in advanced lighting design in New York City. Last week, a two-page Jaeger Labs article was published in an Italian lighting magazine fo focusing on the unification of theater training. Theater is a collaborative art, yet we teach it in isolation, separating out actors, designers, directors, and pretty much everyone into separate classes. So now I want to ask a new question. What if we use a tool like this to get us all in the room together to discover the communal art that is theater? If the training echoed the art, how might that advance the field? Thank you. <laughs> End amount of time.